Hello, bon dia, and welcome to Frankie Off Grid. We're Carissa and Yuan, and back in 2020, we left North Wales with our sausage dog Frankie and bought this ruin with 1.5 acres of land in central Portugal. We've had a lot to learn about off grid life, and one big project we've been working on over the last few months is covering one of our wells as the first step to making the water drinkable as well as making it safer. This week, we're continuing to work on building up the well walls and preparing for an upcoming storm. Uncle Nick's come to help. Oh, it's a pleasant surprise.
Well, that was fun. Thanks, Nick, for your help. It's always remarkable how how much quicker we go when, when Nick's the one making the decisions on where the stones go. It takes me about two hours, probably, to get rid of a mix. And when Nick's here, we do two mixes in 40 minutes or something, and that's including a tea break. So, yeah, amazing progress. I think I've just got one little section just here to go, and then just a few bits of like filling up, back filling, and then we're good to go with the concrete. Now, we have a slight logistical issue with deliveries at the moment, so we're going to have to stop working on the well in order to get the driveway finished, because currently we can only get sand and cement delivered onto the top of the driveway because they're not able to reverse down. But once the driveway is there, we'll then be able to get gravel and sand delivered on the side of the driveway, so then we can still obviously use it. So that's the plan. So, yeah, we've got a, what looks to be quite a storm coming um, on Thursday. Today is Monday. So we've still got a little bit of a leak in the kitchen. So as soon as we've got some soft sand, I think we're going to get up on the roof. I'm going to drag Carissa up there. I'm going to get up on the roof and try and get it waterproofed. We've got a waterproof additive that you can put in the, uh, in the cement mixer. So with any luck, that should do it. So yeah, it's just after lunch. So I think we should be able to get it done before before the end of the day, with any luck. So, let's go. Quick explainer, we're doing a three to one sand to cement mix because we're doing some rendering. So it doesn't need to have as much sand in it as when you're building a wall because obviously it's not supporting rocks. So mix on. This is the stuff. You just put 25 mil ish into the mix. Mm.
happy with it? Yeah, I think so. It might be a little bit on the sloppy side, but I think it should be fine. One way to find out. <laughs> Right, so far so good. Just done this little bit, just up there. It's a little bit messy, not done any proper rendering in a while, but the fortunate thing is, is we do get to sponge it off at the end to, to fix up any, any non-flat bits. So, I'm going to go and do that now.
today's video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. If you have a great business idea, a creative project or a hobby that you'd like to share your wisdom about, then Squarespace might be a helpful tool for you. It's an all-in-one platform to help you easily build a beautiful website. I've been building one for my illustration work called Calm Lines, and this is also the space where I share what I'm learning about growing veggies and flowers as a record for myself and also hopefully to be a helpful resource for others. I've found Squarespace simple and easy to use, their editing interface feels very intuitive with simple drag and drop features and easy to edit sections. You can also choose from one of their hundreds of award winning design templates, giving your site a good foundation to build up from, and in no time at all you could have a beautiful and professional looking site, even if you have no design skills. All you'll need to do is add in the content, whether that's sharing about your passions like gardening or building your own online business and adding things like a shop with their commerce feature. If you feel inspired to create a site, then you can head to squarespace.com forward slash Frankie Off Grid for a free trial and save 10% of your first purchase of a domain or website. Oh yeah, being up a ladder, leaning against a wall with one hand isn't something I recommend, but <laughs> there's no other way of me really showing you this. So. It's yesterday's job, today's the next morning, so the idea, hopefully, but the problem is, is this moves a little bit, so all it takes is, like, it's already slightly cracked along here, so I think we're probably going to have to revisit this again, but hopefully it's done some job, and then after a bit of brushing, you kind of get the excess sand off and it smooths up quite nicely. I'm not going to give it a water test quite yet, I think we'll wait for it to properly dry. But then we've also done this bit here. Yeah, it looks okay. So, yeah, we just need the rain test now, and the rain's coming on Thursday. So yeah, fingers crossed. Another quick thank you for you guys who recommended that I needed to grease the cement mixer. Thank you. <laughs> it's one of those things of having all you guys. You are very, very useful. So please continue to be if you see us making silly mistakes. Although obviously you're a week behind anyway, so, so sometimes the advice is too late. But still, it's good to learn. So thanks very much. Now, the next thing is I've got to learn how to put this on. So trusty old YouTube said that I need a grease squirter, but I don't have a grease squirter. So they said I can use uh, some kitchen roll and the dab it onto the, the first gear rather than the big gear. And then hopefully that'll help, and if I do that often. <clears throat> so we'll see, so I'll press go before and afterwards and you can see whether it makes a difference. But it is a bit windy. So we've had this river stone ever since the first time we started rebuilding this wall and every time I've been convinced that I've found the perfect place for it and I've never been able to get it in. Hopefully this is the one. Thank you. 
so a few of you, sorry about the sun, a few of you are asking why we're going to put concrete on top. So these are the blocks that are currently underneath my feet and as you can see they're very thin and because they're made of like a, a concrete they're also very fragile. So yeah you don't want to be, so yeah you don't want to be putting too much weight on that. Good morning guys. It is quite misty here this morning and a little bit chilly. We are just heading up to Nick's to go give him a hand. I think he might be pruning today. Um, but yeah, in exchange for all the help he gave us, we're going to go give him a hand. So, take you along. Joe, go. Someone's excited. So just as we got the dogs in the car, Nick messaged to say it's all too soggy up there for any pruning so we'll reschedule for another day. <laughs> we felt too bad that we'd put the dogs in the car with the expectation so we're going to take them for a nice walk so that they're not hungry. Let's look at the anticipation on sausage. <laughs> well, for a walk do? Should we go to the dam?
feel the weather coming in. Just making a fire, it's the evening now, we've had a bit of a work on the computers day, Yuan's been editing and I've been working on a new project I'm working on, I'll leave uh, links in the description to it, um, it's called Drawing Expressions, I'm working with a group of other creative people and we're kind of like building a... I don't know what to call it yet, we're still figuring it out but there's going to be a lot of like classes about uh, drawing and creative writing and it's going to be a space where artists can support artists and we're sending our first newsletter on Sunday so I'll leave the link to that below and there will also be a YouTube page. Um, I did mention a few months ago that I was starting a new job in 2024 and it's kind of turned into this and that'll be the space where I share my um, Calm Lines videos that I did, well I made one <laughs> and then things kind of changed but um yeah, we've both been on our computers all day, you are still going and we have just been to our local cafe who picks up our deliveries to collect something that we'll share with you next week but I'm very very happy about it, it's something that's going to make our lives here a lot easier so yeah, hopefully once the rain's gone we'll be able to get that installed but the clouds are brewing above me, the storm is brewing, I'm just having a fire because there's a few bits we needed to burn um, just around the land and it's all going to get wet so we've had a really dry couple of weeks so yeah I'm doing that I've got the chickens out free ranging trying to keep them away from my garden as much as possible fencing is high up on our list um, but yeah I'm gonna I'll put a little time lapse on so you can see the the clouds gathering and then we should wake up to rain in the morning